Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today we are actually talking about Apple AirPods because if you didn't know, they are actually a national security risk. Now here's what's going on. I actually found this article rather amusing, but I think it brings up a good point. This is actually coming from Politico. And this is what we're talking about. Vice President Kamala Harris doesn't use AirPods while a growing number of consumers are going wireless. The vice president is actually sticking with classic wired earbuds, if you will. She has long felt that Bluetooth headphones are a security risk. And as a result, uh, Vice President Harris insists on using wired headphones. And that is according to three former campaign ads talking to Politico. Now, um, obviously, this caution has continued since the election and in an often... Um, Meme video of Harris calling uh, Joe Biden last November to congratulate him on winning the election, she can actually be seen holding a tangle of wires from her headphones. Also, in television interviews, uh, she's been seen um, basically with wired headphones on as well. And after casting a tie-breaking Senate vote uh, back in March for the American Rescue Plan, uh, reporters captured Harris with wired headphones in hand. And during the campaign, she filmed campaign videos with retro coils basically following from her ears. So there you go. While wired headphones have reemerged recently as a hip vintage accessory for Gen Z, the vice president obviously is embracing them for less fashion and more caution. Former aides say that the vice president has long been careful about security and technology, with some describing it as a bit prudent and others describing it as downright paranoid. Now, it's a recurring theme, though, in her life. An aide uh, on her 2016 Senate bid said that uh, Kamala Harris, then non-senator or vice president, often preferred texting to email for security reasons. And another former aide, when she was attorney general in California, said that when a person arrived for the meeting, staff were instructed not to allow them to wait in Harris's office alone. Instead, they were asked to wait outside. Now, the vice president's office did not respond to Politico when asked if there was a funny origin story about her Bluetooth wariness or for the background on these particular security risks. And there you go. So, well, I think it's a bit amusing. I actually really respect that. I don't care if you love or hate her. Uh, you know, from a security standpoint, that's great. Bluetooth can be hacked. We have seen a lot of spectacular hackings of Bluetooth, including vehicles whose head units are integrated with Bluetooth. You get into the Bluetooth and you can do things like slam on the brakes, turn the wheel, all these kinds of things kill the car. So Bluetooth obviously is a huge problem. Pacemakers were found to have a massive Bluetooth uh, vulnerability and all the pacemakers need to be upgraded because if you could break into a Bluetooth pacemaker, you could literally explode somebody's heart. So this isn't unwarranted. It's nice to actually see, though, that we have, uh, you know, basically a, a political leader here in office that is taking security seriously. Having people not wait in your office alone, again, great. That's good for physical security. You don't know what people will see. You might not know what you left out. These are standards and practices for things like risk mitigation. Now, will you go so far as to not use Bluetooth headphones in your life? No, I actually have Bluetooth headphones and I'm in cybersecurity. But when I'm out in public, my wireless, whether it's my uh, regular wireless connect to Wi-Fi or my Bluetooth, are shut off. My phone is never has those things on unless I need them. So if I'm going to go put in my headphones and listen to something as I'm doing something, whatever that is, then I'll turn on the Bluetooth, then I'll synchronize it, et cetera, et cetera. In the same way that if I'm synchronizing, uh, let's say, my, my phone to my personal car, I don't sync contacts, uh, you know, I don't sync calendars, I don't sync anything um, except the ability for me basically to stream music. That's it. You know, I can listen to an audiobook, I can stream music, I can take a phone call, but I'm not storing that information. And if I'm getting rid of the car, I go through and I try wiping out all that stuff out as much as I can, but I'm not going to deliver my contacts to this. So being careful with Bluetooth is the name of the game here. It just happens to be on the backdrop of what I think is just a rather amusing and odd story. I don't know why Politico would talk about this. It doesn't seem like it's a big thing. Great. She doesn't wear Bluetooth headphones. Why Why even bother to talk about this? But from a cybersecurity perspective, I'm kind of glad they did because it gives me the ability to talk to you about Bluetooth security, wireless security, and in some cases, physical security if you've got an office. So that is your news of the day. I thought it was uh, pretty amusing. And so there you go. Apple AirPods, a national security risk. And please take, uh, like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please stay private. Thanks, everyone.